It's all one of our times. Bad as a bang and wanga. We described as a legend by men across the globe. It looks to me mm. like a black male enjoyed. In his head, he's enjoying himself. He's having fun. I've seen, I have damning evidence. I can't wipe, swipe it out. What I need, send your wife. And they were all posing for pictures. They were not afraid when they saw the camera. They were even happy. They were smiling, giving us smiles. Yes. And in these same videos, you can clearly see that they were the ones changing positions, really. So when you are talking about, oh, he slept with people's wife, they wanted it. You are now abusing him that he's a psychopath, he's a madman. He's not mad. But he's the, just a man who has a high sexual drive. But the, and those women have been participating willingly. Like in their mind, inside, inside, they are desiring this thing. Today, we bring you a story that has captivated public attention and sparked widespread discussion. Baltazar and Gonga. The man behind 400 leaked videos with wives of notable people in country including the president's sister, a prominent political figure, is embroiled in a scandal that has raised significant questions and concerns. Reports, along with alleged leaked videos, suggest that Nganga may have been involved in a corruption incident that has now exploded to become a matter of both public and private controversy. According to the story, that they suspected him of being fraudulent in the company or in the agency so they decided to investigate him um, uh, now so now they go to this guy house so they start to the search for things next thing they come stumble on some tapes only for these people to carry the tapes so may they slaughter me the first thing where they see now this guy when in the knock one of the president's sister people also mentioned that <coughs> it's possible that because he has five boys and one girl is he has a beautiful family. Very is get somebody like this. <laughs> <laughs> that is, he, they, he's acclaimed to have the male seat. Yeah, yeah. And he was helping them because if you don't have male children in Petra, <coughs> the women are worried that we're going there. For those who were dealing with infertility, we're trying to have kids. These are respectable women. Hmm. These are women who are up there. <coughs> These are women who go out with entourage. They go out like this is their life. They have a ministry for helping people but yet they have one in innate desire mm. that their spouses are unable to meet but society doesn't see that part that desire in them but they found a gentleman they saw the desire who was willing to donate to donate what are your thoughts more than willing is one is one part of this act mm. is another part of the issue mm. immediately the videos were released it became a scandal like how could a minister have sexual relations with 400 women and put it on tape? Not just regular people, people really close to him. The brother's wife, attorney general's wife, his uncle's pregnant wife, vice president's wife, president's sister, and also 20 ministers' wives. The deeper conversation remains. Why did this notable woman choose to get into the act with this man? First of all, he did not commit any crime because in all videos, the act appears consensual. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. They, they are raising kids, but they just want an outlet to be able to express themselves. They, it's not like they don't love their husbands anymore, but brother is collecting, means if I need to be satisfied. If you ask them, are you happy in this marriage? They're happy. Are you satisfied in this marriage? They're satisfied. Are your needs met financially and otherwise? They are met. But would you like to break out of this so that you cannot have your freedom to do whatever? No! I want to preserve this. I also want to have that. It's a conversation. Why can't you have it with your husband? The your husband, husband is not delivering. Are you hearing? Your husband is not delivering. One, two. You may have married a man that you did not fall in love with. That you're not chem uh, is it chemically attracted now, mm. physically attracted to mm. in that way. The man does not make your body do jiggy jiggy, and he's your husband, mm. but he's a good man. He has good, it's the security, there's financing. So shouldn't you leave that kind of person? Why? To what? The one that gives you bus will be giving you break heartbreak. Oh, yeah. So yeah, but you're just there to collect and go home. You're not getting the point. Baltazar Nganga is well known in his community and has long been considered a respected leader. His career spans multiple years and includes key contributions in various sectors. As a public servant, 
Nganga has held several significant positions, consistently advocating for economic development and improved education system. According to sources, the scandal began when video footage allegedly featuring Nganga was leaked to social media platforms. The content of the video has sparked controversy and garnered a considerable reaction online, with many questioning both the authenticity and the implications of the footage. Nganga has responded through a spokesperson, denying involvement and claiming that these accusations are an attempt to tarnish his reputation. However, as of now, no formal charges have been filed, and investigations are underway to determine the legitimacy of the videos and the nature of the incident. In his defense, Balthazar Nganga has also claimed that all the videos were AI and that they should be submitted to AI intelligence for investigation. The public response has been mixed. Imagine his children. I'm sure they'll be in one better school. The, you have maybe the, the British something something school of their country. And then this morning they will drop them at school. Other parents say, hey, stay away from that child. Do that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. You would risk the stigmatization of your yeah. family, yeah. other people that you love, in such an irresponsible and yeah. accountable way. Yeah. When you say he's normal, he's just enjoying himself, there's a level to which you seek for dopamine, which is at the normalcy level. When you exceed that normalcy level, it becomes abnormal because now you are hooking, you are, you are intoxicated with that dopamine and you do whatever it takes to get that hit and to get that high. That's the level in which he is. He's addicted. I don't know why everybody is talking about, oh, this is diabolical, oh, this is... No, it's not diabolical. This man kept proof because days like this will come. Now people are talking about, oh, the women are committing suicide. They are only committing suicide because they were caught. Go and underline that. They only feel guilty because they were caught. Before they catch the monk, did any of them felt the remorse to come and say, Oh, look at what I did, though, I feel bad. No! Immediately they caught them. They now started doing what? Dying. The shame is killing them. Because they know that clearly they cannot. You know how women can twist things. If this man didn't have proof, the way they would have twisted this thing, all of them would have been shouting that this man raped them. All! Not even one will say, oh, I did it willingly. And people that are talking about, oh, he was sleeping with his younger brother's pregnant wife. Did you stop to ask yourself, what type of possessed that a pregnant woman will be that you gave somebody your body willingly? Why is the brother's wife sleeping with him? Why are you giving somebody else your body when you are pregnant? When you see the statistic, of how women are the cause of divorce this is one of the reasons if one man slept with over 400 women which of the women are faithful in equatorial guinea first before we talk about around the world so how many women remain there now where they faithful for their relationship before we want to castigate this man oh he slept with the general's wife look at the calibers of people that will stop so low to disgrace themselves if you are comfortable, there is a level of comfort you have to be with somebody to be able to be happy in front of a camera. All of them were happy in front of that camera. None of them were like, oh, no, 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 stop. They were happy, disgracefully, toilets, bathroom, every shit hole that they could find, they were happy doing it. They were living the life on top water everywhere. So why is everybody talking about this man? Oh, he must have done something to them. Now they're trying to claim that he has disease. No, he is proving to you that a lot of women are unfaithful. I applaud this man for keeping evidence because if he has not kept evidence, we all know how this story would have ended. Even as he kept evidence, see how people are dragging him. We are talking about how one man slept with, that, with 400 women. Who is going to talk about the 400 women that slept with one man? So imagine if every man on earth is bringing out evidence of the women that they have slept with. See, it's possible if Equidoria Guinea men bring out evidence, some of these women will be replayed on other people's videos. You heard me. So no, I am not in support of castigating this man. I applaud him for keeping evidence. I said what I said. Some community members have expressed shock and disappointment, citing a sense of betrayal, while others have rallied in support of Nganga, calling for due process and caution against jumping to conclusions.
Political reactions have also been varied. Several of Nganga's colleagues in government have withheld judgment, emphasizing the importance of allowing the investigation to proceed without undue influence. However, some opposition members have seized upon the situation to criticize his leadership and moral integrity. From a legal perspective, authorities are assessing whether any laws may have been broken in the course of these alleged activities, including potential privacy violations. Furthermore, the case raises important ethical questions about public figures. Unfortunately, one of the women in the Equatorial Guinea sex scandal has allegedly committed suicide after seeing her trending videos online. Well, I'm telling you,